Morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Look who's joined me and who's laughing at my intro is Mr. <laughs> Mr. Donze93, of course, who's back. Because today we're going to be doing something with the Range Rover. But before we get to that, you know how he recently got a red Lamborghini Huracan? So I've come to his car park area and I parked my car, which is right there. And then look what's next to me a yellow one. A yellow Lamborghini Huracan. Now, please explain why there's a yellow one and not a red one. Because uh, my dad buy one. <laughs> so his dad liked his red one. Therefore, he bought a yellow one. <laughs> so we are waiting for the Aventador, Aventador in June. Yeah. Aventador or in June. Orange Aventador. But for now, it's the yellow Huracan. So basically. This man has access to a yellow and a red hurricane. So the red one is not here, it's currently you in Italy. You can see all my pictures on my Instagram page. Donze093. Donze 0 0 all the people write, what is the name, what is the name? name it's Donze093. Donze 0 0 0 0 exactly. So there's photos of this one, the red one, no, no, no. I parked my car here, I came down. It was raining outside, as you can see, so the car's a bit wet. Um, but the car is now parked. And what we're doing today is we're going to be reviewing this Range Rover. So I've never driven a Range Rover before. So I told Ali, I was like, you know what, can I, can I give your Range Rover a go? And he was like, yeah, no problem. So we're gonna drive this Range Rover and I'm gonna tell you what I think about the Range Rover. However, first of all, you need to tell us which one this is and like all the details and stuff. This car is a 306 horsepower, uh, 3.0 uh, liters yeah. diesel. Diesel, okay, okay. Uh, Autobiography, no? The autobiography, oh. yeah. full optionals. And, nice, really um, nice. Like grey, dark grey colour, yeah, right? I don't know if you can see that. Dark grey. Blacked out everything with little gold accents all around, which are yeah. wraps. Yeah, gold there. You got red calipers as I well. I want to change logo? this maybe in black. Put it in black, yeah. yeah, yeah that would be cool. Uh, <laughs> Donze 93. Then you got, yeah, red calipers. Yeah, 22 big ones. inch wheels. 22 inch wheels. Yeah, we have That's Brembo nice. brakes. Brembos, okay. Yeah. Round front, you got more gold. And then, let's check out inside. Full option, no? Yeah. So, black leather interior with some grey leather as well. Alcantara roof. Alcantara roof. Uh, you've got the sunroof as well, and then you've got all of that. This the jazz. screen here. This, here. this is an option too. Oh, that's an option. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I didn't know that. Autobiography is a bit serious. Auto. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. These seats are really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are really cool. I'm more comfortable. Uh, yeah. Respect the normal uh, TDV6. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm bigger. Yeah, and it's really nice. Anyways, let's set up some cameras and stuff, and give this thing a go. We're driving out of Donze's car park and there are a bunch of cool cars. So he's driving for now to a location where we're gonna set up a few more cameras. And then we're gonna get started with this video. But so far, the main thing about it is it's just really quiet, right? This car. Now you can't hear anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, it's... I can yeah, hear myself the same breathe. One. Look. Oh, there's another one, exactly same. the same. Yeah, the same. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Monaco. We're doing that driver switch. Uh, okay, I'm in, and I need to, first of all, safety first, oh no, actually, you know what, in Monaco you don't need to put your seat down. Anyways, my seat, because I'm about two foot tall, <laughs> up we go! I actually have to go really high, huh? Yeah. Here we go. My first miles in a Range Rover. I put my belt. Your belt. And it's so smooth. So relaxing. smooth and relaxing and quiet. I feel like I'm I'm gaining energy while I drive. If that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the turning circle. I don't know how you say it. Like how it uh, yeah. how it turns is pretty good. For you, it's weird, no? When someone else drives your car. No, it's uh, you drive fast cars and uh, <laughs> it's good. So obviously, this being my first time driving a Range Rover, even a four x four, for that matter. I'm finding it really interesting. Now, first of all, I've only really driven between the Twizy and the Lotus and the Porsche and the Lambo and several other cars. Basically, they're all quite low, sort of sporty cars with heavy steering and sort of quite harsh suspension and everything. And coming into this, I mean, it was somewhat expected. 
it's just like such it's like it's like driving a cloud basically and a cloud that's really high up so you're sitting what feels like in a bus you're sitting like so high aren't you and sort of over everybody double -decker. exactly yeah it's sitting on the top of a double decker bus um, but it's so cool and the way that it sort of just cruises over bunts and these seats these seats are so comfortable and they're because i think are they the same as the ones that you get in the normal range rover or are they specific to sport, you know? Because they, they hold you quite a lot, they're quite sporty. Yeah, yeah, but I, I prefer the sport, the sport because uh, yeah. it's more dynamic. If you if you put here, you now you have an automatic, but yeah. if you put here, look, you, yeah. you come in red, and the car, oh, yeah. the, 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 the... Oh, the steering's way the heavier. Yeah, 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 yeah. And is this like manual? Then? No, 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 it's normal. It's normal you yeah. can put a manual with the, oh, yeah, you push this one. Down. And then you have the gears. Yeah, the sport, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I see. we have a. We have a. Here's a double decker bus. Yeah, another oh. bus. <laughs> no, that is crazy actually how much the steering changes when yeah. you're in sport. The car that had the lightest steering that I think I had driven was um, the Porsche I had in LA. That had quite light steering as well. I need to remember that it's on paddles. <laughs> <laughs> But then everything in here feels like such good quality. I'm going to put it back in. In, uh, in drive. In drive. And in comfortable. Comfort and drive. I've kind of decided I'm not going to try and tell you about speed or anything because that's not what this car is about really. So sure, it has 306 horsepower and all of that, which is all good and well. But that's not really what this car is about. It's more just about the cruising side of things. Um, and for me, it's interesting because as you guys know, I've been looking for a daily driver car and we were looking at the Evoque or the um, Macan, and something more 4 x 4 y than anything I had previously owned. So it's interesting sort of driving this and sort of getting a feel for what it would be like to have something like that. This is obviously extreme because it's so big. Yeah, it's like really big. The Macan big. or the Evoque is a lot smaller than yeah, this. Yes, smaller. Um, but it, it is a nice feeling being high up. And I know a bunch of people are going to comment, why don't you have your seatbelt on? No, no, it's because we're driving around town and in Monaco it's not a law to have your seatbelt yeah. on. So there's this little thing that you have that blocks yeah, the seatbelt. Yeah, I put belt. it because uh, yeah. that's every time and blam bling, exactly. blam bling. The view out is really nice with the sunroof. Yeah. You sort of, you see everything around you and ooh, nice little Porsche rally car there. And the wing mirrors are huge. They're really big. Very big, yeah. But you see everything in this yeah. car. And here we have a function. We can put. Uh, Let's go in the tunnel. Yeah. Look here. We can put the camera, and when you go, we can oh, see. Oh, you see. Oh, so I can see behind me like that. That's yeah. cool. I like that a lot. For security. <laughs> and the leather just feels so nice. Like everything just feels luxury, you know? Yeah. And it is incredible how quiet it is in here. I mean. In my car, you would need to be talking like this. Yeah, but me, to me, I'm two meters in your car. I'm so yeah, in like... yeah, my car, you're in here, there's loads of space. When, I, when I make a long trip, maybe 500, 600 kilometers. You take this? Yes, but I don't feel the trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, if I make with the with the Eurocan, yeah. it's, oh my God. I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of space so I can see a bit if this car accelerates. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty fast yeah. still. That was 10 euros in fuel right there. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel that big either. Like you're aware of the fact that this car is really big, but it doesn't feel like you're driving a tank. You just feel quite high up. Yeah, if you if you look at the outside, you say, oh, what a big yeah. is that car. Yeah, when exactly. you are inside and you so drive it, you feel that, that the bad. car is not so big. And people, Maybe because it's gold, this one. <laughs> That's probably got something to do with it. Yeah. But people do look. They're yeah, like, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever taken this car off-road? Yeah, a little bit in, um, in Holland. Okay. When I was in Holland, yeah. I make nice streets in the... Yeah. With the and because that's the thing, like you, f when you're driving it here, you forget that this car is like really capable off-road. Like right now, it just feels like it belongs in the city. Yeah, but... This this car I have not the the correct tires and the correct rims because uh, it's 22 inch and for the for yeah they look good road, but it's uh, not good for no 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 if you have a 19 inch it's better it's better yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and this you have the winter tires on it as well yeah yeah, yeah. you know what there's surprisingly little amounts of um, body roll you know 
Like when you go around the corner, the car doesn't, yep. yeah, doesn't yeah. turn that much. I thought it would be a lot more like feeling like a little. No, 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 no. That that car, that feeling so that I yeah. drive is uh, the Class G that I have my friend. Oh, when you drive that, yeah. yeah. When I drive the Class G, yeah. it's uh, every time when you turn. You go around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like and a, I, like I a bus. And I actually went in a G Wagon uh, in Dubai not that long ago, and it didn't feel as luxurious as this. Like it, it. It is an old car and it feels like an old car. Like yeah. this feels modern. I mean, I've got like a camera showing yeah, me yeah, what's yeah. behind me. I've got a screen in front of me. Everything just feels and smells sort of luxurious. But after Class G, I love when you when you close the door. The oh sound yeah, the sh the yeah, it's like on the Porsche. Yeah, like yeah, on the yeah. Porsche. It's that's a big nice. price to pay for the sound of a door closing. <laughs> <laughs> so there are lots of different like off-road settings and stuff, right? Yeah, you can put uh, here. You can put the car uh, uh, higher. Okay. Yeah, for the off-road. So now are we it's, like it's maybe down? Uh, ten or fifteen centimeters more up. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can put it, and but the maximum speed of you, your car is up is eighteen uh, kilometers per hour. Eighteen. Uh, no, eight, 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 eight zero. Eight zero. Yeah. And when you put down the car, it's forty, the maximum. Because down is uh, if you go in the garage, you know that uh, a lot of. Uh, garage are, low, are very low so you need to, yeah. and you can go inside uh, yeah, yeah. one time last time when I was in Holland they make me oh one one meter ninety is maximum say okay I can park the car you but press I, the button, I press yeah. the button and I, I see here because it's the, the window yeah. and I see that the car passes so <laughs> with the lower so that's position practical. Most, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know most cars have a lift yeah, <laughs> this yeah. has a lower <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 if you put all this up whoa Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, we are like so high right now. <laughs> here we have traction control, here dynamic, yeah. normal for snow and off-road, uh, for desert, and here's lower for the mountains if you, if you yeah. take um, a big uh, steep hill. Yeah. yeah. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I'm not a professional car reviewer. <laughs> I'm literally just doing this because I was yeah. like, I have never driven a Range Rover before, so might as well try it out. Benvenuti nel Principato di Monaco. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome us back into Monaco. <laughs> you can feel that 31. it's a diesel, like it has a lot of torque, like you accelerate and then it, it still goes, even if you're in a low gear, see? It still goes and it sort of pulls you. It's 700 Newton meters. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. Huh? It's like in the Lotus, for example, it feels like when you accelerate, someone just pushes your back like this. Yeah. Here it feels like there's like someone just pulling yeah. you towards them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite a nice feeling. I like that. I keep just slowing down and accelerating. <laughs> And also, it's practical. Like, there's all these plate. There's these huge places to put your yeah, stuff. Yeah, we have like, the fridge here. That is a fridge. Look. Oh my god! This and a here you put this. Yeah, and it goes cold. Yeah. It's a fridge! <laughs> What's the base price for these cars? This car with uh, autobiography with all the option was 120,000 euros. So they are. That's but I, I receive a, yeah. a, a good deal, a good price. Okay. Because that's the one thing for me with Range Rovers. Like, I've always loved Range Rovers and I thought they're so cool. But I never quite understood why they cost so much because they're really expensive. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But. I've got to admit, when you're inside it and when you're driving, you sort of get it because it's it it is. I mean, maybe not quite as comfortable as the S Class, but it's kind of like an S Class raised up, you know. All right, we have then just arrived at the location where we started filming, basically. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for letting me drive this. Absolute pleasure. Now then, just quickly, I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna switch the car off and I'm gonna go on the things that I like and the things that I don't like more the things that I like because there are more things that I like. First of all, yeah. I love the way it drives. I love the gearbox. It's like really, you don't even feel it changing gear, you know, it's just like And I just love the thing that I love the most personally is just how everything feels. Like, I'm quite tactile. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I love the way like that this Alcantara feels yeah. and how it all smells and everything. Yeah. So that's probably my favorite thing. I like the way you're up high as well, but the way it's so big, Sometimes it's probably annoying, you know, to park and everything. Like that's one thing yeah. I'm not such a fan of. Especially in Monaco. Especially in Monaco. Yeah. That's the thing. When you have all the parks, us. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's it's a good thing yeah. and a bad thing. But for me, more often it would be a bad thing because living here and stuff. Um, 
but then in terms of the way it makes you feel presidential and it makes you feel up and everything I love these seats um, and then yeah no overall I mean the only thing that would sort of block me with this car is the size the the running cost because it uses a lot of yep. fuel and stuff and also just the cost like 120 grand for for a Range Rover is a lot of money so uh, so yeah but apart from that that's pretty much it go subscribe to Donza 93 who's got this car Obviously, the yellow Hurricane is his father's, but then you've got your dad has a Speciali, you're getting the Aventador. His yeah. personal other car is a red Hurricane. So, yeah, loads of stuff. So, go subscribe to him. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, try and get some access to other cars or whatever to be able to drive those, and we'll see what we can do. But, uh, yeah, no, thank you so much for watching. More reviews will come soon. Cheers. If you're not already, please remember to subscribe. Bye bye. Bye. This is going to be awesome. So this is a wrapped chrome purple car with gold sort of yellowish gold orangish gold uh, wheels and it is insane like you can see all the carbon they've added